Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Wait for it. Oh, there it is. Oh. Mm. Oh, this is a fantastic beer. Oh, and it's a craft beer. Let's talk about Eric July, FOMO, and good business practices. For those of you who don't know, FOMO is the fear of missing out. And what Eric July is doing as a part of the Ripperverse to make sure that he honors people and the excitement of his comic book releasing. Eric July is actually still live right now as I am recording this video, and he is talking about his release dates, what he is doing with his release dates, and so on. So, the, the FOMO factor, right? The fear of missing out. I, I think that that contributes to a lot of what has actually boosted the numbers of the Ripperverse, right? Is the fear of missing out. That's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that is a bad thing. However, Eric comes out and he goes, here's the deal. He goes, based off of how you guys ordered, how you guys, uh, and, and the massive amount that came in, he's working on his uh, release date and his release times in such a way that does not space out the first orders too much from the last orders. And I'm talking about in the manner in which they receive them or in the time frame in which they receive them. Now, Eric obviously knows about the FOMO thing and he somewhat commented on it. He didn't call FOMO, but he somewhat commented on it. He goes, half the fun about getting a new comic book is you being able to read it and consume it and, and make your videos about it at the same time that other people are doing it. So he actually thought about this. He actually thought about, hey, everybody ordered this. And in order to kind of not spoil it from the people who haven't been able to, uh, uh, who weren't on like the front end of the purchasing and who are on the back end of the purchasing, he's moving his timeline so he can condense the amount of time that people are receiving this. So that way, hopefully everybody can be in on the hype, watching the, get it? They can go, oh man, this guy just did a video. My copy's coming today. I'll put this video and put it on my watch later. And then he's going to read the thing. And then, you know, I some number one, the thing, I some number one, sorry, I'm pulled the Biden there. You, you know the thing, right? You know the thing. Anyway, so we're going to read the thing, ISM number one, and then we're going to go back and we're going to watch that video and we're going to get involved in this. This is such a fantastic way to do a business and to take customers into account. I think that Eric obviously is displaying right here his love of comic books, his love of geek culture, his love of nerd culture, and, and, and taking that into his business practice. This tells me one of two things about Eric. One, I've never met him, so I can't speak and two like it'd be super cool to meet freaking eric july because uh, there's some other things i'd like to talk with him about other out, outside of the ripperverse stuff but the first thing that he took into this is understanding comic book fans and understanding what they want and what is the exciting part about comics the second thing that he took into this is that as a business running comic books, he understands he's not in all the stores. He's not only selling in the stores. He's selling online and releasing it in that way. And so in order to correct that situation between wanting to get it first, wanting to talk about it right away, he and, and then obviously it not being in physical stores yet, he knew that those two things had to be rectified the fan enjoyment and the online sales. That made me excited to hear. I actually didn't know that this was the video I was going to do today until he said that on his live stream. I realize that a lot of people out there are holding back and waiting. Maybe they don't have the money. They're waiting to hear if it's good. And that's fantastic. And I love that people are being financially responsible for themselves and waiting to see if this is something that they would like to purchase. And I think Eric July also knows this. I think there is a freaking mosquito over here. And I live in the Midwest now and the back of my arm right, right there. It's got mosquito bites all over it. Screw mosquitoes. Hashtag get rid of mosquitoes. Anyway, I'm sorry that I'm, I'm tired of them little pricks. But I think that Eric July 
is staying true to his roots, which is fantastic to see, which is as, as a purchaser of his product. And his product is twofold. One, the physical copy of the books and what he's doing. And two, the listener and the consumer of what he has advocated for for years. And that means more to me than the physical books itself. The fact that Eric July is aware enough to know what makes comic book fans excited about something, what makes movie fans excited about, what makes nerds excited about something. And again, I'm like a half nerd. (laughs) I'm interested in a lot of things. There are people who have checked out this channel who are definitely have a higher knowledge than I do. They have purchased more products than I have. Um, but what got me so excited about this was Eric July's personality and hoping that if this thing blew up, it would, he wouldn't change his outlook on life, his outlooks on nerdom, his outlooks on excitement. And he's using that to develop his business strategy. This is something that I think is going to show the rest of the industry and is going to change how the rest of the industry functions. Welcome to the Iron Age. As Razor Fist called it. I almost want to call him Rageaholic. I hate that he hasn't changed his channel name. He needs but you know, algorithms and stuff. Because I always have to search Rageaholic to find Razor Fist videos. But welcome to the Iron Age. We're showing businesses right now in this space how you do it. And Eric July, he's coming up with a plan. He's on his toes. He's bobbing and weaving. I mean, Eric July is becoming the Muhammad Ali of this. Maybe that's not the best reference. If you guys have a better analogy for who Eric July is in this industry right now, Let me know, because the Muhammad Ali, I don't know. The Rocky, maybe, the underdog that overcomes the obstacles. He might be a better Rocky. I don't know. I'm not a sports guy. But when I heard him talk about the fact that he's going to try to tighten up the window of shipping and move things around, so that way, if you ordered it first, you're still going to get it first. But he doesn't want the people who are on the on the later side of ordering it to get it so much later that it's all been robbed from them. The excitement of being a part of that crowd has all been robbed. And so Eric July understands FOMO. He understands what it is to be a fan of things and have to get that thing and want to do that thing. And I didn't know that I was going to do this video tonight, but that just reinvigorated me. That just, I'm like, wow. He really is trying to stay true to his word. And again, I've never met the guy. Who knows? I could meet him and he like I and I could hate him. But at least with what I'm seeing with his videos, at least with what I'm seeing with his live streams and what he is attempting to do for his fans, for the people that are purchasing his product, he wants to make sure that this community of people that have backed him are all treated somewhat equally. That's such a fantastic message for other businesses and for other creators in this space to realize. Take these small things. And as a purchaser, as a consumer, it's kind of frustrating. It's like, well, I ordered my book. Maybe I should get it first before, like way before these other guys. But that takes the fun out of it. Now you can't talk with your friends about it. You can't talk online about it because you're like, ooh, everybody hasn't gotten it yet. Maybe I should be worried about spoilers. I don't give two dams about spoilers, so I'll spoil the shit out of some stuff. Like day one, I get the book. I'm going to be flipping through it. And I'm going to be reading some stuff and I'm going to finish the book and then I'm doing videos because I'm excited about this because I don't give a damn about spoilers. But Eric July knows that other people do. And Eric July is trying to make sure that everybody can get in on ground zero somewhat at the same time. 
That's just such a positive message. That's just it's so great. And that gives me a lot of hope. I'm really glad I subscribed to the guy. Uh, subscribed to him for very different reasons. But I'm just glad I did. How awesome is this? Is the book good? I don't know. Who cares? Yeah, if it's not good, do we buy ISOM number two? I don't know. But just the fact that he's thinking about people. We don't have a lot of individuals in the world that think about people anymore. Think about themselves. And he's really thinking about other people. And that just gives me hope for the world that my children are going to inherit. And damn it, that makes me happy. Thank you guys so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. Thank you everybody for checking out this channel. And let's be hopeful together. I'll see you next time right here. Cheers. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.